let me give you a quick update on the major markets. The S&P 500, the FTSE 100, and the NASDAQ 100, and how we're looking both in the near term and the long term. So let's cut first to the S&P 500. What you see here is a daily chart of that uh, index. And uh, there's a couple of pointers here. Obviously, we've had this massive lovely uptrend. The problem we've got is right now, uh, it, it's really falling. Uh, okay, so we have got this move down at the moment. Right now, it's still within the overall uptrend. The MACD, which is a slower lagging indicator, is showing what's called a negative divergence. In other words, it's going down while the markets were rising. That's a negative scenario. But you've seen time and time again, it tends to do that. It hits there, it hits there, uh, falls for a few days, so I'd expect it to conform. Then it rises back in a V shape. It's done it time and again, time and again. Uh, okay, sometimes, of course, those falls have been bigger and they've been more prolonged. People have panicked and it's done it time and again. So what should we expect this time? Well, to determine that, I do like to and prefer looking at the monthly chart. And we've still got that upward strength, a heck of a lot more strength. And that tends to put things in perspective. So, yes, I do expect some falls. Uh, we've got some support. If it keeps going lower than that, I would still expect something of a bounce back because this is still positive until that starts moving. Now, if you look at shorter term indicators like the stochastic, that again oversold and it hasn't crossed its own signal line, the red dotted line, which would be more of a selling pressure. So at the moment, yes, I do expect a few days of falls is the bottom line. However, I am more confident that on the available evidence will bounce back up. So there'll be some profit taking, but it won't be a prolonged fall. NASDAQ, similar story, daily chart falling, uh, negative divergence. That's falling more strongly on the daily, but, uh, and again, you've got a, uh, a support. Let's look at the monthly. The monthly looks a lot stronger. That hasn't broken below. That's still going upward. So the monthly is still a lot more positive. How about the FTSE 100? Well, that's the daily. Again, it's, that's fallen below support, so it's not been as good. That looks bad. That looks bad. Uh, so again, the old story, America sneezes and the rest of the world, like the UK, catches a cold. Uh, there's two pictures of me. I took a photo while I was doing that. So let's look at the monthly here. Uh, the monthly looks a little bit better, actually. Uh, but really, I'd be led by the Americans. And I wouldn't be surprised if that goes down. And again, I would still expect a resumption up on the available evidence that we have. So what am I saying? Well, if you're risk averse, uh, you might want to take some profits at a 15% drop from in any of your stocks from their peak, uh, and the rest at a 25% stop loss. If you're risk neutral like me or risk loving, you just keep holding through any pain because you've got good resilient stocks.